Hello, my beautiful ladies and gentlemen. I also missed you guys as well. Last time we left off, I was stuck here, scared, alone. But now, I know I have you here with me to protect me from the dangers of the world. But what I really need to do is cook up some bacon. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? Heck yes. So, I'm going to put this... Okay, so I'm going to teach you guys to get this wood, right? You're going to want to go into your furnace. All right. Oh my goodness, this is so intelligent. Oh my goodness, okay. And then you're going to want to put one, two, and three. And the charcoal does not exist in this game. I just learned that. <laughs> okay. It is okay because I'm a professional Minecrafter. And I knew that from, uh, just real world, I guess. But it is perfectly fine because, oh my goodness, I'm a professional meter, meat cooker, not meter. Although I do like, uh, cooking up some meat in my free time, if you know what I mean. I'm kidding. Please do not demonetize me. I need all the money I can get. For my three African babies that I have living with me. Okay. So you're probably wondering, Ethan, what could you possibly be doing in such a fun and uh, entertaining series like Minecraft Back to the Future? I mean, you got to have something interesting planned for me as a loyal viewer, you probably are thinking. Well, uh, I don't have anything planned. However... You, right now, are going to think of what you want me to do. Oh my goodness, you just gave me a great idea. Thank you, you're so intelligent. I would have never thought of that on my own. So, what we're going to be doing is getting myself out of this hole <laughs> so I don't die. Okay. Now, I'm very scared. It's just like me in real life. I'm actually a very timid person. And I've been known for- oh no. Okay. So, we're just gonna make a run. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, we're good. Alright, get over here. Oh, you thought you could hit me? Well, I'm too good for you. Alright, we made it. It was perfectly easy. I- this isn't my fifth time retrying that over and over again. I promise I was just ready for that, that's all. So, um, now you're probably wondering, well, Ethan- you did such a great maneuver there. How could you top that? Oh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to go over to those skeletons, and I'm going to say, Hey, buddy, guess what? And I'll be like, what? And I'm going to hit him with a quick... <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> and, uh, uh... I was just doing that so I... had enough death so I could eat food. Alright. I have an even better plan. So, I wonder if gravel falls yet in Minecraft. It does. Well then, I have a very good idea. Aha, yes. Uh, okay. So now... Oh! Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. Alright, guys. As you can see, I'm actually a professional Minecrafter. I oh, no. I'm oh. Oh, no. Okay, good thing I've, I've been training for this. I'm a Navy SEAL. Yes. Yes! One more to go. You think you could defeat me, Skeleton? On one-on-one -on -one combat? Okay, this two-on-two. Two. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. What would, what would Steve do in this situation? He would take him down like a real man! Okay. Okay. Where's my last foe? Ah, uh, you think you can hide over there? Well, you were wrong! RKO out of nowhere! Heck yes, guys. As you can see, I've been training on my Minecraft skills for an entire month now. How do you think I was able to just climb easily out of this small hole I created, or t t t shack, and easily defeat maybe six skeletons? I know you're thinking, Ethan, I'm really impressed with what you just did there. Can I please have your autograph? And, uh, if you subscribe... Right now, 
I will give you my autograph for free. You're probably wondering, but Ethan, that might be really hard if you have, since you have millions of subscribers. It's okay, I'm known, oh no, don't do it, he did it. Okay, <laughs> I'm known to be able to create at least a million autographs in five seconds. It's kind of a talent of mine, you're probably wondering. Wow, Ethan, how'd you figure out that you could do that? A lot of lonely nights in my room really helped me with my hand coordination. And so, I'm going to censor what I just said because that is not child friendly. Uh, so now that I've got this uh, tree house, you know what I'm going to do to it since I love it so much? I'm going to do what any uh, capitalist would do. Destroy the nature. Because, well, here's the thing. I love destroying nature because I love making money. You know, as our great president Barack Hussein Obama once said, uh, kill anything that isn't your favorite skin color. And that's what I'm doing. I actually very much dislike the skin color green. Because I had nightmares about Shrek when I was three years old. You're probably wondering, well, Ethan, that's a little bit childish. Why would you be scared of Shrek? You don't know what I've been through, okay? Anyway, um, I'm really glad you guys could join me here on this adventure. It's gonna be so much fun, just me and you, and all this meat I have in my body. Oh my goodness, this gives me such a good idea. Ah! Okay. <sighs> Think. Alright, I'll use the power of Notch. Shoot. I know. I'll throw arrows at him. What? <laughs> He's so much faster than me. <laughs> all right, all right. <sighs> all right. <sighs> I know. <sighs> yes. Kachiga. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. How do you easily do that, Ethan? I'm so impressed. I don't know. I was actually, if you couldn't tell, you know, sometimes it's okay to tell everyone about your feelings and not be the manly man like everyone thinks you are. I know all of you viewers are probably thinking you're so manly for taking down that creeper in one-on-one -on -one combat. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is a life lesson. Never be afraid to tell anyone of your true feelings. Because if you never trust other people, well then, no one else will be able to trust you. Life hacks with Ethan! Or should I say Fleetness Gaming. Alright guys, now that you've hit that subscribe button, I'm going to- Alright, PETA, if you're watching this, I'll let you know. I want you to close your eyes, and I'll let you know if this cow survived or not. <laughs> I hope Minecraft doesn't crash from this. What? Yeah, yeet! Alright, now as you can see by my particular ingenious maneuvers, I've actually been playing Minecraft for about 30 years now. You're probably wondering, well, Ethan, you don't sound very old. That's because I have uh, an issue where my voice is really high. And I'm not good at lying to you guys. You're probably wondering, Ethan, why are you even making this series? It's really cringy, and you should probably stop and continue on with your other videos that get more dislikes than likes. <laughs> I know you're not thinking of that. You only want Minecraft content. Just like every Minecraft YouTuber, I've been caught in the uh, trap of playing Minecraft for my audience, when in reality... I don't really like Minecraft anymore. That's a lie. I still love Minecraft. And I will never not love Minecraft until episode 15. Then I'll probably say Minecraft is very hard to do. And I literally hear a Herobrine right behind me in real life. But don't worry. I have my motivation to keep me... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't... <sighs> I can't handle caves because 
<sighs> See, ever since I started playing Minecraft, I've been thinking about this one legendary man called Hero Brian. And <sighs> I thought I saw Hero Brian behind me. Oh no, he's right behind me. Ah, ah. the panting in real life oh my goodness I'm actually becoming really nauseous in real life I think I'm gonna have to end the video before I pass out see you guys next week oh my goodness